What's up guys, welcome to 45th Ruby tutorial. This is again Shakes from Smart Herd. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about inheritance in Ruby. Now, let me start with a brief description. What is inheritance and what is it all about? Now, let us say we have a class parent. In the class parent, we have two instance variable x and y. And we have a method named parent underscore method. Now, all the things this class parent x y parent underscore method are all user defined you can write my parent also my class also whatever up to your wish now let us define another class let's say this time class child now inside the class child we have a b as instance variable child underscore method as a public method now this is the course of this method now this whole portion is the codes of this class child now what if if we want this block of codes to be used in the class child we want x and y variable here also we want parent underscore method here also we want to make use of these block of codes now for that inheritance come into action now what is the syntax of inheritance in ruby class child then we just have to write smaller than sign then class parent like this class child smaller than sign then parent now when when we write this then this block of codes comes here like this now xy parent underscore method this block of codes is now a part of this class child now how to access all these contents of the class child even x y and parent underscore method also good question so for that we have to simply define object c equal to class child dot new then in order to access this method we just have to write c dot child underscore method like this we can access this codes of this child underscore method now what if we want to access this parent underscore method for that we just have to simply write c dot parent underscore method this is because due to inheritance we are able to access the contents of this parent class through this child class in short all these block of codes become a part of this class child pretty simple guys nothing very tough now let's move forward now we had a two class first class was parent and second class was child this parent was actually user defined and this child was also user defined you can name it up to your wish now this class parent is also called parent class super class and base class it has three synonyms actually parent super and base similarly child class also is having three synonyms like this child class subclass and derived class you can call this child class by these three names now we can also see the contrast between the two pairs like parents child super sub base and derived like this and so on now let's see another example let's say we have a class vehicle and we have a class car and we have a class truck now if you notice here guys class car and class truck car and truck are actually vehicle this is the common thing between car and truck now inside the class vehicle if we define its properties four wheels engine speed distance let's make these things as variables of the class vehicles and we have certain methods to calculate the average speed to calculate the acceleration of the vehicle to calculate the distance of the vehicle now all these methods and variables are actually common to class car and class truck we can make use of all these things here also for that we can make use of inheritance like this we can inherit car class smaller than sign than vehicle and similarly class truck also can inherit all these properties of class vehicle into the class truck like this so this is all about inheritance now let's summarize all the features of inheritance it can reuse the code functionality we can reuse the codes like we saw earlier faster implementation and it saves times 
quite simple now ruby does not support multiple level of inheritance now in tutorial number 32 i talked to you about mixins now mixin is the only way to support multiple level of inheritance and we discussed that mixins and its course in tutorial number 32 if you don't remember guys please go back and watch tutorial number 32 i discussed in details about mixins we used actually two modules and inherited those properties of modules in a single class like that now parent class are also called base class or super class and child class are also called derived class or subclass sorry one more class i have written here by mistake so this was all about the basic concept of inheritance in ruby in the next tutorial i will start coding with inheritance in ruby i will give you a very sweet example so catch you guys in next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe this is shrix signing off